we're gonna do a little experiment to see which coffee cup is the best at holding coffee. And each of the materials has different properties. We've got glass, plastic, ceramic, um, a metal coffee cup, and a paper coffee cup. So to start out with, we need to know like, what are we looking for in a coffee cup? The one that I'm gonna focus on here is which one keeps the coffee hottest the best. Mom. So to start out with, we're gonna shoot each of these and we're gonna find out what their starting external temperature is. Oop, here we go, got it. All right, so I've got 68, 68, 67, 71, and 69. Let's bring in our big vat of coffee and measure the initial temperature 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's put 200 milliliters in each cup and then put the lids on the mugs that come with them. So about a minute after pouring the uh, coffee in here, I just wanted to say, I think it's very interesting that we've got 89, 78, 87, 71, oof, goodness, 102. So, um, it's a pretty substantial difference in heat transfer. 10 minutes later. The glass is 84. The plastic is also 84. The ceramic cup is also 84. The metal cup is 72. And the paper cup is 94. So we can see it appears that one of them is definitely holding the heat in better. Let's pop these lids off so we can check the temperature inside. All right, here we go. 95 degrees inside of the glass. Still 104 inside of the plastic. Let's try that and just make sure. 92 inside of the ceramic coffee cup. 109 still inside of the mug. And 101 inside of the paper cup. So definitely can see that we've got a couple of them that are really hanging on to the heat super well. For the last one, I put the lids on them, which for some of you, I'm sure you were like, but that's a confounding variable that some of them were covered and some of them weren't. So let's do this one more time and keep the lids off. before temp really quick. I did. And the initial temperature is 100 and, 117, 118 no. degrees. Spent 10 minutes. Let's check and see how our coffee fared. So outside of the glass, oof, 97. And the coffee inside, 103. Outside of the plastic, 89. The coffee, 110. Outside of the coffee cup, 95. The coffee is 100. Outside of the metal, I'll put it another 10 minutes in case you guys want to go deeper and have a stronger scientific analysis. So here we go. So it's been another 10 minutes. Let's check it out and see how our coffee has fared. So we've got 86 on the outside and 90 on the inside. Then we've got 84. Nine, eighty-six, and eighty-seven. Man, coffee's getting pretty cool there. 
73. Holy bonanza, still 102 that copy in that metal cup. And 93, which means coffee in the paper cup is actually still pretty warm. So we can see huge differentials in the containing or insulating of the heat and the coffee based on the material that was used either with or without the uh, lid on top. So that particular quality of the materials is just one of several reasons that we might choose a coffee cup, right? Some of them we might be looking for durability. Some of them we might be looking for things that don't affect the flavor profile. And so as you conduct your research to decide which coffee cup is the best, we have to keep in mind that maybe there is no one best coffee cup, but the question is which coffee cup is the best for which application?